Hello, dear pupil. Dobro došli na današnju lekciju iz engleskog jezika za učenike šestog razreda. My name is Ivana Hrastović-Mandarić and our today's topic will be about London. By the end of today's English lesson, you will understand a short text about London. You will name some famous sites in London. And you will write a short tourist guide about your city or a place using present simple tense and there is or there are. For today's English lesson, please prepare the following. An English notebook, a pencil, an eraser, a laptop or a tablet, and a good internet connection. How much do you know about London? Dravi učenici, koliko vi već sada znate o Londonu? Can you write three words that you associate to London in your notebooks? Upišite u svoje bilježnice tri riječi koje povezujete sa Londonom. You can pause the video now. Možete sada zaustaviti video. You can compare your mind map with this one. I am sure that you know that London is the capital of England and that you can see double-decker buses there. You probably know that there is Buckingham Palace and that the Queen and the Royal Family live there. The Royal Guards guard the Queen. I am sure you already know about Big Ben and Trafalgar Square. And that there is the River Thames and Tower Bridge. Let's learn a little bit more about London. Listen and read. Welcome to London. There are many reasons to visit London. It is the capital of England and has a population of more than 8 million people. London is situated in the southeast of England. It is an exciting city that attracts a lot of tourists from all over the world. The symbol of London is Big Ben, the great bell inside the Elizabeth Tower. If you take a ride on the London Park, you can see the city from above. There is a wonderful view of the River Thames, Buckingham Palace and the Houses of Parliament. The royal family and the queen live in Buckingham Palace. In front of the palace, you can see the queen's guard. They are famous for their red uniforms. There are places that you must see when you are in London, such as Tower Bridge and the Tower of London, where you can see the crown jewels. In the city center, there is St. Paul's Cathedral, where the royal weddings take place. London has a great number of famous museums and galleries. The National Gallery has one of the greatest collections of European painting in the world. Madame Tussauds is a museum where you can see vast figures of some historical people and film for music celebrities. There are some famous hotels and restaurants in London. You can eat delicious meals in the library restaurant. If you feel tired, you can take a walk in Hyde Park and enjoy the beautiful green spaces there. Now read the sentences and choose true or false. Molim se sada pročitate sljedeće rečenice i odaverite True za točno, a false za netočno. Number one. London is situated in the southwest of England. Number two. The city has a population of more than eight million people. Number three. Big Ben is a big clock on the Elizabeth Tower. Number four. 
The Queen's Guard wear green uniforms. Number five, the River Thames flows through London. Now, let's check your answers. Read and check. Prochitajte i provjerite svoje odgovore. Number one, London is situated in the southwest of England. This is false. London is situated in the southeast of England. Number two, the city has a population of more than 8 million people. This is true. Number three, Big Ben is a big clock on the Elizabeth Tower. This is false. Big Ben is a big bell inside the Elizabeth Tower. Number four, the Queen's Guard wear green uniforms. This is false. The Queen's Guard wear red uniforms. Number five, the River Thames flows through London. This is true. What was your score? Is it everything correct? Well done. Can you now answer these questions about London? Možete li sada odgovoriti na sljedeća pitanja o Londonu? You can write your answers in your notebooks. Odgovore zapišite u svoje bilježnice. What is the symbol of London? Who lives in Buckingham Palace? What can you see in the Tower of London? Where can you see wax figures of many famous people? Here are the answers. Please compare if you have the same. The symbol of London is Big Ben. The royal family and the queen live in Buckingham Palace. In the Tower of London, you can see the crown jewels. You can see wax figures in Madame Tussaud's museum. Dear pupils, here's another task for you. Dragi učenici, evo još jedan zabavan podatak za vas u kojem ćete ponoviti znamenitost u Londona. Copy this link and revise some famous sites in London. Or scan this QR code and have fun. Zadatku možete pristupiti na sljedeći način. U svoje dražilice na kompjuteru ili laptopu upišite navedeni link. bit.ly kosa crta London Tourist Guide. Drugi način kako ćete pristupiti zadatku je da uz pomoć QR readera na svom obrovnom uređaju očitate priloženi QR code. Here's the last chance for today's English lesson. Evo i zadnjih zadatka za današnji sat engleskog jezika. Write a short tourist guide about your city or a place. Trebate napisati kratki turistički vodič o svom mjestu ili gradu. You need to answer the following questions. Pri tome trebate odgovoriti na sljedeća pitanja. Location. Where is your city or place situated? Gdje je smješten vaš grad, odnosno mjesto? Population. How many people live there? Koliko od prilike stanovnika živi u vašem mjestu, odnosno gradu? Things to see. Are there any interesting sites or museums? Postoje li neke znamenitosti ili muzeji? Restaurants and accommodation. Is there a good restaurant? Ima li možda u vašem mjestu ili gradu dobar restoran? Is there a hotel for tourists? Ima li možda hotel za turiste? You can post the video now. Možete sada se ostaviti video. And here are some guidelines for today's task. A evo i nekoliko smjernica za današnji zadatak. 
You can start your sentences like this. Možete svoje rečenice započeti ovako. My city or a place is situated in near the There are around people living in my city or place. It is a nice, great, exciting city or place to live in because there is or there are. You can see. There is also. There are some. I recommend to visit the. I especially like the. You can eat in or you can take a walk in. You can pause the video now. Možete sada zaustaviti video. Dear pupils, before sending your writing task to your teachers, please read it one more time and compare it with this checklist. Dragi učenici, prije nego što pošaljete svoje pisane uratke svojim učiteljicama ili učiteljima, pročitajte još jednom i usporedite vaš pisani uradak sa priloženom checklistom. I have written 50 to 60 words. Zapisali ste 50 do 60 riječi. I have answered all the questions. Odgovorili ste na sva postavljena pitanja. I have checked my spelling. Provjerili ste spelling. I have organized the text into paragraphs. Podijelili ste pisan uradak u odnike. Here are pupils. I wish you good luck with your writing task. Thank you for your today's attention. And I'm looking forward to our next English lesson. Till then, goodbye.